shoes, I don't sell for so Had to lay low, you should be kinda different in the minute Since you can't When people think of prison, they think of iron bars, steel gates, and razor wire. But truly, what prison is, is being lost. Lost in a vast and ever-encompassing white space of nothingness. Or just being lost. Lost in some endless forest. It's like being chased by demons in hazmat suits, forever following the pungent and distinctive stench of death and stale air. You see COVID-19? That shit changed everything about prison. And it even added, and it even added an extra layer of horror. See, when you combine that much death and sorrow with zero communication from friends, family, or anybody from the outside world, well, Let's just say it quickly became something mentally and emotionally I didn't know at that time I wasn't ready to handle. I ain't squeezed all the keys, rubbing me with some squeeze. You know all this so squeeze on my body, I don't even need. She just want to see her nigga test. She just turns in. Girl, you know I can't swim while you put my wrist on your skin. Fuck nigga tendencies in your eyes. That's your daddy's side, see a clear side. Don't speak to me if you see me outside with my girl getting money, doing fine. Hey, okay. Educate the queen on the front of things. This ain't a balcony. We fucking. During the COVID epidemic, we were quarantined, confined to a cell 24 hours a day. No visits, no phone calls, no rec, no programs, nothing. You eat, shower, and shit in the cell. This cell's no bigger than a closet. See, catching corona was the easiest thing that any of us had ever done. And if you had corona, you couldn't have access to the day room. See, the day room is a small, windowless room with no air condition, a broken TV, and two working phones. <sighs> it's 130 inmates to every cell block. If you were lucky enough to test negative, Cause some guard doesn't know what the fuck he's doing and faulty tests you, you might get a shot at using the phone. If a person would get a hold of their family members, they'd monopolize the phone. And with people dying left and right, and you haven't spoken to your children in three months and haven't seen them in over a year, naturally, you're ready to do whatever to prolong hearing their voice. My relationship with my kids was all I could think about. I mean, I knew that they hated me. They had to. Putting them through all of this, how could you not? But it paled into comparison to how much I hated myself. And when things just hurt too bad, I would try. I would try so hard. I would close my eyes and I would just try to escape. I tried to escape to a place that was full of love, full of life, and laughter. But I couldn't bear not hearing their voices. So you know I had a plan, and I knew just the guard to help me. That's when I started thinking about buying a whip. 